How are we going to speed up the transition to a sustainable food system and society? How are we going to agree on approaches and support each other? How are we going to get there? We developed the GAIN transition model to support and empower the short food supply chain movement and align stakeholders, locally, regionally, nationally and internationally. GAIN helps short food supply chain entrepreneurs realize a level playing field and sustainable business development in the food system by facilitating meaningful cooperation, practical solutions and a circular investment strategy that benefits all stakeholders. Level 1. Represent your own world. As a single local player in the short food supply chain, you're a strong, centered individual who determines what happens in that world. You've been working really hard and you're gaining momentum, establishing partnerships with the local hospital, municipalities, regional organizations focused on food challenges, farmers, corporate clients and other social enterprises, universities and knowledge institutions, and last but not least, a whole bunch of loyal clients. You've created a regional alliance of stakeholders, aligned around your shared challenge. This network represents a chain of trust on a regional scale. Together, you have access to a substantial inventory, a network, knowledge and expertise, innovations, tools, money, reach, data, and tested business models. On the regional level too, your short food supply chain still deals with products from the current food system. Sometimes healthier and perhaps more sustainable than the regular produce, but mostly similar. The main difference is that the farmer gets a fair price and your business model is much more complicated and challenging than that of the supermarkets. The question of how to change the food system won't get answered on level 2. When you understand what is required to impact the food system, you realize you're not able to and you don't generate enough revenue to pick up that challenge by yourself in the first place. You need to figure out how to make that giant leap in order to create a level playing field with the supermarket chains. People believe in you and cheer you on. However, you lack the resources and the reach to accomplish this on your own. This weighs you down in your ambitions. Other short-chain entrepreneurs face the very same problem. Individually, they can't make the leap to level 3, but together they'd be able to acquire enough tools and resources to deal with the challenges. Challenges such as high logistical costs, additional marketing costs, IT investments for trade, fair prices for farmers, unprofessional short food supply chain organizations, no margin for future investments, and dependency on subsidies. At this pivotal opportunity, the Task Force Short Chain comes into play. The Task Force facilitates cooperation on level 3 between regional short chain entrepreneurs and stakeholders. For this, the Task Force organizes so called challenge rooms. The challenge room is a place where you and other entrepreneurs, stakeholders, and experts come together. The challenge room is a safe and trusted setting where participants put their expertise, ideas, tools and available resources on the table to deal with the shared challenge or seize market opportunities. The GAIN model's foundation is trust, knowing each other. The challenge room is a temporary place to put that trust into action. Each player still lays claim to their specific knowledge, tools and data, but all participants can make optimal use of the instruments and strategy that were developed together. Once the participants have established solutions to the problem, they continue on their own path. The task force also supports startups on level 1 and 2. Players on these levels can benefit from GAIN's circular investment model by acquiring products, instruments, reach and other assets from the task force inventory at considerable discounts or no cost at all. This enables entrepreneurs on level 1 and 2 to make meaningful progress and realistically aim for level 3 without putting stress on the business model. On the European stage, level 4, there are several agricultural EU projects active in member states. One of them is Smart Chain Horizon 2020, 
a research project for short food supply chain development. SmartChain has adopted the gain transition model and this project is vertically connected with level 3, level 2 and level 1. The task for shortchain in the Netherlands has been mandated by the Dutch government and supported by SmartChain and is able to exchange knowledge with other EU projects. The gain transition model enables collaboration between short chains and stakeholders on the local, regional, national and EU levels. Through smart chain and gain, entrepreneurs and stakeholders in the short chain contribute to EU policy for short food supply chains with their experience and insights. Gain taps into available technical and strategic assets, boosts social engagement, transitions short food supply chain campaigns from early adopters to targeting the early majority and re-establishes the connection between citizens and farmers empowered by an ecosystem of collaborative regions. GAIN has a proven track record in the Netherlands and indications and interests show that many other countries are ready to engage the food transition this way as well. Let's make sustainable, local, healthier and ethically produced food in Europe a reality. Together.